Easiest thing to do, practice. Copy other people's beats just to start and then make it your own. Make sure you make your own. Don't just copy theirs. Okay, but we're going to start off with this. So listen to what you're hearing. I'm going to start off with just percussion. I hear a kick. I hear a clap. I hear a hi-hat. Um, aside from the 808 and that other kind of chimey, almost a guitar. Or... It's like a bell, some weird, whatever that instrument is. All right, so we're going to go into um, instruments. We're going to grab a sampler. All right, I'm going to duplicate this. We're going to have a few. I'm going to rename this kick. Uh, clap. I'm going to rename this hat. Okay. There's a lot of really cool drum kits that are completely free that you can find online really easily. Type in the genre that you're looking for. Type in like beat samples. Um, this is a pre-made pack that I found recently. I think it sounds pretty good. So I'm going to go in here and just kind of uh, start off with some of these sounds. These are really kind of also common sounds that I've been hearing a lot. All right. I'll start off with that. Let me grab that kick. Let me listen to the clap. Sounds more like a clap than a snare, so. Sounds just like this one. Okay, I'm gonna just grab this one then. And then the hi-hat. Good enough. Okay, I'm gonna go with that one. Now these instruments are set up. They're all MIDI. So let's make a loop. So I'm gonna make a selection, Command L to loop. All right, if you lined up the beat correctly, this is gonna loop infinitely and it'll sound perfect so that, that you're good to go. You can use this for practicing writing and stuff too. Okay, so I'm gonna make this this highlight. And I'm gonna do Shift Command M, make a MIDI clip. Okay, we're gonna start off. Um, I'm here. Da 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 da. So I'm gonna take this pencil tool away because I don't like that. Uh, C3 is just the normal sample. Let me see. If I click M on my keyboard, this little uh, keyboard shows up in the top right. That's gonna allow me to use my keyboard um, as a piano. You see the little red uh, red mark showing up on this, uh, this piano roll here. So it's pitching the sample down. C3, which is A on your keyboard, uh, is the root note. So that's the note of the sample. If I, pitch, if I pitch it up an octave, go to C4, that's an octave up. That's not what we want. C2 would be an octave down, a little too low. C3 is the, 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 the original, it's playing the original sample. So we don't really need any of the others for this unless we're pitching it around, which for the kick, I'm really not doing right now. All right, so let me try that out. So I hear. All right. Da, 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 da. Oh, that was wrong. So. Da, da. Nope. Okay. It sounds like it's the same thing. So I'm going to make a selection from the three all the way to the one. I'm not just going to do it from here to the one, three to the one, because that's two bars from one to two to three. I'm going to do Command D to duplicate. Perfect. It, uh, that sounds like a loop. That sounds like what it is. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Highlight the clap, shift command uh, M. And the clap is on every offbeat. So again, I'm gonna find uh, um, C3, boom, hold this. I'm dragging it out just to make sure that the full sample plays. You can also go into the, go into here, go to filter global and uh, turn up the release a little bit. We'll talk more about that later. That'll make sure the whole sample is being played. So here's, here's what we got so far. Cool. 
And then the hi-hats, again, selection, shift command M, hi-hats. They're at a minimum, okay, at a, at a minimum, it's, it's gonna just be like this. So I hear a little da da da. This is a chance for you to just make your own pattern. All right, let's listen to that. So. All right, close enough. Even if that's not correct, uh, this is a chance for us to be a little creative and try something else. Okay, and we can also pitch up and down the tracks um, with these MIDI notes. So let me use the little headphone to audition so I can hear. There you go, just something a little interesting. Um, you can also, another little quick little freebie technique that I like to use is go into MIDI effects, go into, not the random, go into velocity and then add some random. So this will adjust the velocity. It'll random, kind of randomize the velocity to make uh, some of the hi-hats or some of the notes to hit a little harder and some of them to hit a little softer, okay? So I'm gonna just, let me see, level that out a little bit so it's not too high or too low. Um, you have to go into the filter global, uh, vo uh, volume, velocity, and I'm going to turn that up. So without this on, it, no nothing's going to happen. This isn't going to do anything. And then I'll make this a bit extreme. I'm not going to leave it up this high, but just so you can hear it. You hear movement. It sounds more like things are, or things are going on. I might make that, I don't know, 30, 40% or whatever. A little closer to 51. Okay, it just sounds a little interesting. I select all those, I'm gonna group those, call those uh, drums. All right, let's see what else we got. <laughs> 